So we're on map 8 of the old map compilation now, which is, or was, warping.wod back in 2002 again, I assume. Um, starting off in a consistently textured room, which I'm pretty content with, to be honest. The only thing I'd change would be the alignment on these metal panels here, so that it either fits the panel or the walls cut, so that the panels fit the wall. Right, so we've got a central teleport here, which will drop me into some sort of trap. Yeah, gently surrounded there. Uh, there's no music playing in this at all because I chose not to upload it with any. Probably could have just left the default going to be honest, but we've all heard them a million times. So here would be quite consistent aside from this rather pointless transition from brown to metal here. You could have left it all brown or all metal. Uh, with the rest of the room, brown might have even been a better choice to be honest. Although the metal goes well against these panels here. Likewise some kind of division there would have been nice. This is a relatively short map, and obviously the central gimmick will be teleported. Shiny silver computer bit here. I wouldn't say there's anything particularly egregious so far, appearance-wise. And even this door's reasonably thin, with the marble bit here. Not a secret, but it's like a hidden room at least, so there's something there. Um, yeah, I suppose that's almost a trap. Another pointless transition here. There's lift will work on both ends, which is nice. It's always uh, worth doing so you can backtrack, although probably a little bit pointless I'm fairly certain. No backtracking here. It's a bit of an old school trap room here. It's dark, it's flashing, disorient you. You don't get a lot of stuff quite like this anymore and I think that's probably just because of sensibilities have moved on. It used to be back in the day we'd deliberately be trying to catch the player out in some way. Again, tends to protect transitions and cut-offs here could be better. Uh, functional lift again. Yeah, I thought that might be a concern here. Really, these days the accepted thing to do is have your uh, have your doors have some kind of lip at least so that they don't scroll directly up into the sky. From an appearance perspective, it's quite important. Function it makes no difference. Likewise, some sort of upper lip there would be nice so that it doesn't look like a flat panel blocking out some of the sky. Not sure why that needs teleport textures either, to be honest. I suppose your problem here is that your keys just activate things which are right next to them. There's no no real sense of needing the keys there. You could easily just add these two be choices. So there's no no sort of element of non-linearity really if I think layout would require was probably based on that room in the factory where you have the um where you teleport in the middle of uh, a few imps that are trapped. And this is a very overscaled and ambitious room. Um, doesn't really do all that much unfortunately it's just a large spiral staircase. Clearly, I didn't scale properly if I needed to put a cut out CNB in there. Uh, sort of plays a bit like the uh, beginning of the circle of death where you run around the outside to battle the hit scanners before taking on the rest of the area. Difference, of course, being that everything in there is optional and half of it will have killed each other before you even get there. Now, I did revisit this idea in uh, that Coils of the Twisted Tail I made. I feel like that's probably a better better use of the idea with a more tighter scale. I mean, this, is, this isn't an attractive area and it's not a particularly well laid out one. Although the Magnus Crossfire can be a little difficult if you choose to actually fight it. I mean... Overall I wouldn't say that this map achieves anything more than the others done. Um, Particularly the last map was a lot of the same really, teleporting between disparate areas. The only real difference is that we've got a bit of extra scaler and um, maybe slight 
improvements on the texturing, although this exit switch would imply otherwise. I think realistically there's not a lot else to say here. It's just uh, it just goes to show that I think in the sort of vacuum that I was operating in back then without any sort of or without many external wads to look at, I couldn't really see how the community was progressing. So obviously by 2002 we'd had things like Alien Vendetta and other much more impressive works, but I simply didn't know about them. And without knowing about them I couldn't really scale my own work in any way. So, I think for probably the next two of these, there might be a slight refinement, but there won't be any huge leaps. It's perhaps a shame, but we all, we all have to get there eventually. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll end this video here now. If anyone's watching, thanks for watching, although I wouldn't blame you if you haven't. Until next time.